I DJ don't play. And you know what I realized? I didn't finish my story from the other day. So I'm going to finish it. This old man looked at me and he said, you're wrong. You're wrong. Every cell in your body grows back. Seven years. Every single cell. I was like, no, I'm sorry. You're wrong. Well, truth's in the eye of the beholder, I realize now. Well, this one guy got up and he come up next to me and he said, we're going over here. And we're going to dance. Well, I can stay right here and dance. Why don't you stay here in the crowd and dance and everyone can start dancing. He's like, no, we're fucking going over here. And I was like, okay, well, I don't think I'm going over there because I want to stay where everyone can see us because you sound like you're threatening me. You're trying to hurt me. He puts his arm around me, like kind of in a buddy way, but more in a headlock fashion. He's not squeezing or anything yet. And he says, no, we're going over here right now. And I say, no, I don't think we're going over here. Well, he tries to rip my head off because I told him that your body doesn't grow back every seven years like everything in your body does except for your heart and your spinal cord and your brain, your brain cells. Your brain cells, once they're dead, they're gone. They teach you that a long time ago. So sure enough, he uh, tries to rip my head off. My hat comes off because I just duck it and he kind of tries to headlock me and fight me. And I duck it. The old man stands up. He says, no, we don't need violence. We don't need violence. Well, of course we don't need violence. He's actually a little mature. Now this guy, he's mature too. He's a man, he's my brother, just like me. He just tried to rip my head off. Well, long story short, everyone started telling me to back off, that I was the one starting shit. Well, gee, I didn't know someone trying to put me in a headlock was me starting shit. Doesn't make any fucking sense to me at all. So again, in vision, someone tries to rip my head off. And this is after I had the most beautiful love with this woman. Well, <laughs> the next day, literally the next day at the festival, this was the first day at the festival, I think it was Friday, Saturday, walking around, you know, it's late night, sure enough, who do I see? This guy who tried to rip my head off. His arms are wide open, wide open, and he's looking at me and walking right at me, and I'm walking right at him. He's like, hey, buddy, give me a hug. I'm like, a hug? You tried to rip my head off yesterday. How do I know you're not going to try and body slam me? You know, and he looks at me and he's like, we're symptoms of consciousness. And I said, no, we're consciousness. We're not a symptom of consciousness. We actually are consciousness. I'm conscious. You're conscious. We're not a symptom of it. We are conscious beings. You know what he does? I'm with the woman. I'm with the woman I was making love to. The night before. Me and her danced all night. We had fucking time of our life. He takes his water, throws it in my face, and laughs. <laughs> and I laugh back. <laughs> and you know what I did? I had a pineapple in my hands. And he's with his buddy. And I fucking wind up like a pitcher would, and I pull that pineapple back, and I literally almost let it rip, and I do the motion, and I throw it, and I don't throw it. And they do this. They're all scared like little girls. Like, oh, nah, don't hurt me. And I laughed and laughed and I laughed hysterically. I laughed so hard, I might have peed my pants. Boy, I was laughing. Well, he tried to fight me after that. But his buddy, um, thankfully his buddy was there because I would have ripped his arm off. And he knows it. I would have broke his arm. Because we talked about it. His buddy was like, hey. Don't fight him right now. Not in front of all these people. That's not the energy you want to give off. There was like a thousand people around. And they would have told this guy to get his ass kicked. But he knows that. And I know that. And you know what? He probably would have put up a pretty good fight. Because he was a pretty big dude. And he'd been squabbing since who knows when. He's from Tennessee. Well, after that, next day goes by, party and having fun. Another day goes by. And then the after party. Fuego. After party's at Fuego. And I stand in fuego, I stand for hours in the same spot. Because I'm standing for myself, I'm standing for my dad, I'm standing for the water protectors, standing for everyone who's suffered in their whole life. Because you know what? Someone needs to stand up for those people. Because they can't stand up for themselves sometimes. And that's why I was standing there. I didn't dance, I didn't move, I was dancing in my mind. Boy oh boy, was it a good time. Who do you think comes walking right in front of me? <laughs> 